hey guys welcome back to another new video so in my nokia x7 review video i said that um i'm not going to install any kind of custom firmware on this device but guess what i just couldn't resist myself doing that actually so i went ahead and flashed one of the best cfw available for nokia x7 and today we are going to explore this firmware and also I'm going to talk about why this firmware is better than the stock one although this thing does not really matter but it's just fun so let's find out so the rom is booted up as you can see here and if i press menu button um, you can see all the application here so i have like, changed the theme here so initially like when you install this custom rom you will like get this theme so it will be in nokia evolve theme I don't really like Nokia Evolve theme as you can see here. Um, so I have like changed to theme general and me go by blade. And I have also like removed the all kind of theme effect. If you turn on the theme effect, I, it, it will make the device slow a little bit. But as you can see here, but I don't really like theme effect. So I always keep it off. So if I go here, themes and general, and I can select theme effect, turn off so right after as you can see there are not a lot of application because this rom is debloated so almost all the application which are useless right now all of them removed but still there are few application if i go to internet section so as you can see here there are web browser store store doesn't work anymore and i have installed opera mini and media section there are media applications here and if you go to organizer there are few other application navigation navigation application and also if i go to application section i have installed this application here so initially if you are in the stock firmware you will get about 200 mb of free storage to play with but if you flash custom rom you will get about 300 mb of free storage but right now as i have installed free application it is now 232 mb and if you install custom firmware you will get few other features too like the phone will run much better than the stock firmware and also not going to get any kind of certificate error here while installing application so as you can see that's why i have installed like angry bird fruit ninja and app list here so one thing i used to like a lot about custom firmware is that i, I was able to install cc store here so currently for some reason cc store is not working um i don't really know why it is not working and also the cc store page is not there anymore you cannot download cc store anymore although i have installed cc store from somewhere else but it is not working anymore if i go here and app and wizard so if i go to weather section as you can see it is just loading but it doesn't work anymore and i really used to like this cc store because there are a lot of application a lot of games and almost anything which runs on symbian are there actually but unfortunately cc store is not working anymore and i have installed one more store here which is app list app list does work but right now i can't really install any application from app list so as you can see it can like load so if i go to star browser if i want to install star browser download and it will open the browser here but it doesn't load anything more than that usually before i was able to install application directly from there but now sister store and app list doesn't work anymore but if you really want to install application here right now you have to write there are few people who uploaded like application and games for symbian devices uh, you can download from directly from there and install going with other things i have installed jtube 2 here so if i go and jtube open jtube so as you can see jtube is working and i can watch 720p video here without any kind of issue so right now let's let's try ncs video so ncs so we will try this one Genji. let's see which resolution we are running so 720p as you can see here going back and let's try to play i 
and as you can see here the buttons are like adapted with the theme so, so 720p video is working on custom firmware let's go back and if i press and hold as you can see here all the application this looks pretty good unlike uh stock firmware so this one this multitasking menu does does look beautiful and you can close directly from here uh, okay and few other things are available with custom rom is that if i press and hold the power button as you can see it will give you option to reboot the device so that is another option here and going back um, as you can see here there is nothing much going on but the main thing is that you will get much richer experience from your symbian device let's try browsing from opera mini so if i go to opera mini and opera mini does work perfectly fine as you can see it's pretty fast actually and if i go to facebook facebook will work perfectly fine actually so as you can see it loaded the old facebook and it does work perfectly fine and if i go to google here google will work perfectly fine and it will struggle opening like newer pages but almost all the pages it will work perfectly fine so if i go web trick dot com so as you can see it loaded the web trick dot com pretty much uh, usable so the web trick is pretty much usable you can go to game section and you can download some games also you can go to theme section to download some themes maybe the themes are not available right now maybe let's try so we go to any event section usually i used to download themes for my nokia s40 devices from web trick actually or mobile line but those are gone right now and also theme reflex are still available you can download themes from there so as you can see the browser is perfectly fine and uh, there is nothing much to say about custom firmware here it is pretty much similar to the stock firmware but it is that the experience you will get from here is much richer and everything works much better than the stock firmware and if you really want to try custom firmware on your device i will put the firmware link in the description below um i don't really think anyone will install a custom firmware here it's just for fun i have tried it so that's all about a custom firmware on nokia x7 thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time